Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write him and sing him like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old they, they think the old music is better, and I, I'm not so sure. And today, case in point, so we're going back to the '80s pop charts, and we're picking out some songs that made some internet lists, and we're doing a 64 song tournament, picking worst song of the '80s. We did this with the '70s, and now we're doing it here. So we're in the Sweet 16. This is the final round. And today we're going to have some fun. So keep in mind that this is just for fun, okay? And it's my opinion. Uh, so that's it. And so we pit these in pairs. And the first two is two really good singers, I think. Two really good voices with some really bad lyrics. <laughs> you know, so it's going to come down probably to the instrumentation. But in this first pairing... It is uh, Bette Midler, Wind Beneath My Wings, versus Mike and the Mechanics, plus sign, Mike plus the Mechanics, The Living Years. Now, it's kind of a bit of a tough choice. Just uh, I really like Bette Midler's voice. I like Paul Carrick's voice. So, uh, yeah, but the lyrics are just uh, poor. So we'll start with the Bette Midler. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just, you're the wind beneath my wings. It's just one of those sappy romantic songs. And I really don't like the synth programming, that chimey, cheesy kind of synth programming. I'm showing you, uh, the 45 RPM, uh, record here. And yeah, it's just. But I got to tell you, here's another video where I, I got to be transparent because I usually play the four songs back to back, but I, but I already know. I've got these songs seared in my brain and pitting that up against Mike and the Mechanics, which I think has better instrumentation. I wanted to read you this thing here from this just real quick. It's real short. It's from this book, The Worst Rock and Roll Records of All Time. It's an essay on Mike and the Mechanics, and this is funny. This is funny. So let me just read this. Uh, the idea behind the living years is simple and straightforward. A grown man mourns the death of his father and ponders why they weren't able to reach a reproachment while the old man was still alive. It's not an original idea, but it is a notion that in the right hands, can lend itself to some interesting permutations. Not in these hands, with all the subtlety of a gown worn by Cher at the Academy Awards, Mike and the Mechanics turn this tale of self-pity uh, into a babbling mess. So anyway, I just, I just thought that that was a funny line. Um, yeah, and I agree with that. But you know what? The instrumentation, Mike Rutherford, from Genesis, Paul Carrick, all these guys. It's just better. So I'm going to advance the, the Bette Midler because it, yeah, that synthesizer programming is really, really poor. All right. So the next pairing is uh, another really great singer up against somebody who I don't think is such a great singer. We've got Whitney Houston, the greatest love of all. And this is advanced to a couple rounds just because it was up against uh, some weaker competition. Uh, and, and, and the video is fine. You know, she oversings just a little tiny bit, but what great pipes. Gotta love Whitney Houston. You know, it's a song about children and all that kind of thing. So, again, it falls into the sappy category. But it's up against Joe Dolce, who's an Australian-Italian, and his song, Shut Up Your Face, which is a novelty song. Ugh. Yeah, it's got the uh, the whole uh, Italian theme, and his mama told him to shut up your face. And, yeah, I don't know. If I got to play that song ten times in a row versus the Whitney Houston I'm going to get a lot more tired of the 
Joe Dolce, which is a song that I had never heard before doing this tournament. Uh, so that was interesting. Uh, two of the songs that are advancing to the Elite Eight are songs that I never heard before. So it's interesting. So we're going to advance Joe Dolce. And that's it. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. And thank you for indulging me. Like I say, I could sit here and I could play the four songs and go, hmm, hmm, I wonder which. But yeah, I just, before I hit record, I'm like, yeah, I already know. So I'm just going to level with you guys. And I hope you uh, respect that. You can go back to round uh, two and play these songs if you'd like. There's also a, a playlist, uh, War Songs of the 80s original videos. So thanks for joining me. Hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.